Marissa looking lovely in pink. She made this all happen. So you are like a one man business, everything this evening. You kind of have to be, you know? Uh, what I love about new media is that there are no rules and you can take on all the hats that you can carry and juggle and make it happen for yourself. And tell me a little bit about your backstory, about you know what what you went to college for and how you ended up where you are right now. Yeah, I actually went to college for the actual. I went to college pre med, right? That didn't work out. I was like, Ugh, blood, it's not happening. Biology. So I switched to theater. Um, got my major theater, speech and dance from Brown University. Went to New York City, did a theater company out there. That was good for the soul, not so good for the money. Um, and so I went West Coast, wanted to get into film and TV. And that same sort of entrepreneurial spirit in, in starting a theater company helped me to start um, a film production company. So that's where we are right now. And I love what your, your message is about representing the community and a certain light. You know, there's a lot of negative connotations. Talk to me a little bit more about that. Yeah, we really wanted to create innovative content without stereotypes. A lot of things that we see um, that portray ethnic people or people of, you know, alternative lifestyles, they're very stereotypical. And we know those people in real life, and they, they're human. They, they're beyond stereotypes. So we challenged ourselves to write a script that had no stereotypes. And when we were dealing, we have a, a, like five different ethnicities in our pilot episode and, and alternative lifestyles as well. And we did our damnedest to make sure that nobody was stereotyped in any way, that they were actually cast against type, and that you know all the characters were just people. They weren't stereotypes. I love that casting against type. Yeah. It makes it more challenging. The actors have to show up for work. Yeah, for sure. And, it's, and they're excited about it, too. They like love, they love that they get to play that. So. And how did everybody get involved this evening? I know we have a couple other web series and great talent tonight. You know, it's all... Latino culture is all about the family, and they're all part of our creative families. I went to college with Julia Graub, who's the um, producer and creator of East Willie B. We're screening that tonight. And also um, the trainee is um, Mauro Flores. I did a summer stock play with him when I was 18 years old, so so long ago. And somehow we crossed paths again, and he actually uh, did something in New York with Vivian, another creator of ours. So it's a crazy what a small world it is. All these worlds coming together. Yeah. <laughs> and you obviously have it all going on. What does it take to be successful in front of and behind the camera? Commitment. It's commitment and faith. If you just believe that you can do it and you take action, you're going to do it. And I have a little something fun for you. We have a fun section of Dirty and 30 called Confession. Do you have any sort of confession? Maybe something you did in your 20s that uh -huh. you're not the most proud of? Yes. <laughs> okay. I wore really nice stiletto heels to a party um, that was like sports related. And I thought I was looking all hot, walking up the stairs, get something to drink. I started walking back down the stairs, <laughs> flat on my face, Superman down the stairs. Nice. Did anyone see? Everyone saw. And what else are you working on? Is, I mean, can you cram anything on your plate? Where should we be looking for you? I will be in Animal Practice. It's a new um, sitcom that's coming out on NBC. Uh, it's so exciting. That's, um, I, I don't even know when it's coming out. The fall. <laughs> fall works. Fall's great. And then the Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 2. That comes out in November. And what's your role in Twilight? What can you tell me? I know it's always tight. It's so top secret. But I play Hui Lin, so if you've read the books, you know... She comes in at the end with her nephew and, well, I don't want to give away the end, but it's good. <laughs> I know! <laughs> Thank you so much. Have fun tonight. The beautiful. I love it.